We came from up there, Parmenter Street. Here's a little inlet of some kind. And forward we go. Still wondering whether this was the furthest point of our scout hike or not. Current consensus is drifting in the direction of no. But I bet it's close. section before going downhill a bit. Straight away some more. You know, lacework stone walls. Looks like we're about to have another dip. Sort of looks like it might be our 
high point from the other side. It's interesting, these funny little cove things they have. Yeah, this is the one, yeah. Yeah, the little culverts right down here. Exactly, and the, uh, yeah, and it's got, a, it's got a killer little old style stone culvert, whereas the other one doesn't. Yeah, so we've got that much further to go. This is a great old bit of 1870s era culvert work. So yeah, look at this beautiful 1870s circa handmade stone drainage culvert to carry water down the hillside into the lake. Is that cool or what? So we found our culvert point and now we're heading to the southern trailhead of this thing should be coming up in another 20 minutes or so. Oh look, there's weird buckets of stuff. What's with this? Oh, I think this old junk was here. It's just abandoned slob junk. Oh yeah, it's, well, it's all wild grape, a lot of it. So it's more stuff for the deer and whatever else. Massachusetts forests take care of their critters. Start to edge along a bunch of Atlantic white cedar plantings. Now fairly mature. Thank you. 
Oh, and I suspect the home stretch is with us. That way heads north to Plum Island. My little sing-song litany, like something out of Dr. Doolittle. And this way goes south to Duxbury. But first we go to this trailhead where they don't want you parking anywhere. It really annoys them. And there's the lake. And another long straightaway. Mm -hmm. 